In this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss about a few problems rela related to pneumatic circuits, uh, which were asked in the previous uh, midterm or final exam. So, hope this will help you to prepare for your next midterm, inshallah ta'ala. So, uh, let's see. Uh, the first question, I think it was asked in 1516, uh, semester one or two, I cannot really remember, but this was the problem. As you can see here, uh, that it says that two cylinders are used to transfer parts from a magazine onto a chute as shown in figure two. So this is the magazine and then uh, you are using this two cylinder to transfer the part out of this magazine. And it uh, so the first one will push it out here and the second one will push it out. Uh, push it so that it will go into this box. Now, uh, previous uh, uh, this this type of example we have already done in our previous video, but this one is little bit. There is a twist. Um, for example, it says that a push button or a foot pedal valve is uh, to be pressed, and also it says that uh, you have to ensure that there is parts inside this magazine. If there is no part, then the cylinder, the system will not work. And the remaining is uh, almost the same as the previous uh, example uh, that you first push it out, then you place it here, and then the second cylinder will start to actuate. And then second uh, first cylinder will retract, and the second cylinder will retract eventually for to complete the one cycle. Okay, so this is the basically uh, the problem. Let's see how to solve this thing. Okay, so this is the fluid sim um, interface, and then this is the solution that I have prepared. Um, and basically, this is uh, I have already shown in the previous video how to bring all these uh, all these uh, uh, component from the library, uh, as shown here. Basically, uh, <coughs> excuse me. This is another problem, let's see. Here. So this is the library and you have all the components here. You just drag and drop. Okay, so let's uh, concentrate on the solution. Okay, so we have two cylinders, uh, basically. So the, uh, the cylinder that is going to push the part out of the magazine can be actuated either by the push, uh, push button or by the uh, uh, sorry, it has uh, to be either by push button or foot pedal, right? Uh, let me see. Push button or a foot pedal. Okay. Mm, okay, so there is something wrong here. Let me try to rectify this one. So, yes, uh, here we are going to... Uh, yeah, I think this is the wrong example. Let me close this one and open the other one. Ah, here. So this one shows that either a push button or a foot paddle. So you use an R valve or a shuttle valve. And uh, so if any one of them is pressed, this valve will be activated and you will have pressure here. So this is for the AND valve. What is the purpose of the AND valve? That you have to ensure the part is there inside. So this is the uh, kind of a limit switch that to detect the part is inside. In real life, it would be uh, spring loaded. But here, uh, because of the simulation purpose, I put it as a maintained contact and then Basically, there will be another AND valve to ensure that your second cylinder is in retracted position. Otherwise, it, the part will hit the uh, piston of the second cylinder. So that's why you use this uh, C1 of the limit switch that detects the retraction position of the second cylinder as an AND condition. And then the this system will move forward and I use some flow control valve so that the simulation can be at a um, minimum uh, nominal speed so that we can see the thing working. And then we also used uh, when the first cylinder moves forward, then the second cylinder will move. Uh, so this A2 will cause the second cylinder to move forward. That means the part is now ready to be pushed uh, 
also by the second cylinder and once the second cylinder pushed apart then the C2 which is basically the second cylinder extended position will cause the first cylinder to move back and then once the first cylinder is moved back then the second cylinder will move back as well by this A1 limit switch okay so let's see and this is the uh, <coughs> this is the to show the phase of the cylinder um, this is a basically you can insert this uh, state diagram uh, to see the phase of the cylinder you you can just drag and drop this uh, phase these cylinders and then it will automatically generate the uh, state diagram of the uh, cylinders uh, let's see so we simulate this one okay so either of these two let's say if I press the foot paddle so you will see Oh, nothing is happening why let me try one more time okay something is wrong oh the wrong thing that I have done is because I have to ensure that the part is inside the magazine so you press this one then the part is inside then only if you press the foot paddle okay then you can see the first cylinder is moving forward then followed by the second cylinder and then the first cylinder is moving backward and followed by the second cylinder so one cycle is finished so you for the second part you press again so you can see the phase diagram of the two cylinders there you can see the state diagram of the two cylinders as well so if you want to keep the cycle on uh, let's say you don't want to push button so you want to maintain contact you can just click it and then you can see the system will be keep on moving after pressing this one so it will be keep on moving So as you can see that it is just uh, if you have a lot of parts so you don't use a really a push button once this press it will keep on doing the job until all the parts are finished so that means there is no more part sorry so so once there is no more part so it will not cause any more uh, motion for the first cylinder so this is how the system works hope this clarifies your the problem okay let's go into the next one next one sh says um, a little bit more um, okay it also in the uh, question we said that you have to describe the every sequence of operation so you have to describe that how the system works uh, by pressing each button and what will happen so this is uh, descriptive uh, d descriptively you have to explain okay in the next one another pneumatic circuit uh, related problem it says that a double acting cylinder is actuated by a push button or a foot pedal valve and the cylinder should retract back automatically so you have to detect the retraction uh, sorry you have to detect the extension after it reaches the end position that means the extended position and before it retracts a certain pressure needs to be built up and a certain time needs to be elapsed so, and the retraction should be as fast as possible that means you have to use a quick exhaust valve and whereas the extension of the cylinder should be controllable speed that means you should use a one-way flow control valve let's see uh, the solution for this one yeah this is the one uh, let me minimize it first okay stop this simulation and we open the next one okay so this is the case as you can see here either a push uh, push button or a foot paddle uh, so use a shuttle valve and the retraction is detected by uh, in you know you do not need sorry the extension is detected by a limit switch as you can see the levels are same a2 a2 and you do not use any retraction limit because it is not required and then uh, once it hits this limit this will cause the time delay to work at the same time this pressure buildup will be monitored by this pressure monitoring valve and the, I'm using this pressure uh, from this chamber left chamber to actuate this pilot valve once the pressure is built up then it will uh, cause this valve to be actuated but 
you will also have to ensure this uh, time uh, lapse uh, has been accomplished uh, which is basically I put it in 50% opening so once that uh, that uh, prescribed time is uh, done then the air will go here and if the pressure is built up certain pressure and then the air will go to the port number two and it will actuate the valve and hence the cylinder will move backward direction so let's see the simulation let's see the simulation okay we press so as you can see here you press the push button so it will it is not moving uh, it's moving slowly because our forward speed should be controllable uh, so that's why I put here slow motion uh, the, this one-way flow control valve and then w once the this time and pressure has been achieved then it moves backward very fast because of this quick exhaust valve so as you can see you can increase this one decrease it to make it even more delayed so you can see here now it will move forward and the delay will be longer for this time okay it hits the limit okay so it is waiting for this delay to be activated okay now it moves backward so I hope this clarifies the solution uh, this type of problems will be asked uh, in your midterm exam, upcoming midterm exam. Hope uh, this will, this tutorial will uh, be helpful for you. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.